Alrighty guys, what's going on? Corbin with Corbin's Corn Horror Reviews, back again for another episode, and today we have the Ultra Psycho R. Uh, before we get into it, I do have two sponsors, Black Sheep Baggers and the Cornhole Cave, BlackSheepBaggers.com, bags, boards, accessories, apparel, all that good stuff, top-notch customer service. Go check them out, Corbin5 for 10% off, and the Cornhole Cave, brick and mortar out of Wichita, Kansas. Uh, so go check out the boards, check out the bags, grab a t-shirt, talk to the owner, really nice guy. He has a website as well, same or next day uh, shipping on that. Uh, so check him out. He's awesome. And I do have a Patreon down below if you're so inclined. So the Psycho R, um, we'll see if the weather lets me get through this. It started raining on me last video. See if it does it again. I don't know. It's kind of just blowing through, trying to clear up whatever. So let's just deal with it. Uh, the Psycho R is cool. Um, I was I was interested in them uh, before I even knew what the carpet was because I thought they were going to do a Viper R carpet just with the Psycho Fast Side, which would be Essentially a Costello X, um, but not the clone carpet, you know. Um, but I was like, ah, that's interesting. And then when they came out with this carpet, I was like, oh. So basically what Ultra did here is make a Pro X, a Reynolds Pro X, okay? But it's just not the same. Um, it, it doesn't quite play the same. It doesn't feel the same. It's just, it is different. Um, I'm not going to say it's a better version, but it is a different version. So it's really into what you want it to be. So let's get into it. Um, price. These were 95 plus shipping on drop day, I believe. Uh, they're probably up to 125 now, but I'm not entirely sure about that. That's kind of what Ultra does, though. Is drop day is like 95 and then it goes up. Okay. Um, but 95 plus shipping to start. Not bad. I've seen them for sale on the pages. You know, some people like them, some people don't. So just kind of depends what you can get get them for. Um, breaking method. Uh Toss sauce carpet muncher with a little bit of a little bit of wrinkle guard like I always do. Uh, shop tossauce.com, Corbin 10, 10% 10 off for you there. Pretty nice. Um, I did that and it worked. Uh, I've talked to a couple people that own these and they had to do a lot more with them. Um, I've thrown them a lot and I continue to throw them a lot. I want them to get more broken in because I know they're not quite there. But um, it, you, you got to throw these a lot. It's that pro advantage carpet and it is tough to break down. Thanks. Um, so that's that. Uh, overall speeds. I'm going to go with just pretty pretty cut and dry here. Four on the slow, eight on the fast. Just the way it is. Um, you know, slow side is going to change a little bit condition dependent. If it's super slick out and whatever, slow side is going to speed up just a little bit. If it's humid, slow side is pretty much going to stay the same. So we're looking at a four eight there. Pretty solid. Uh, three Fs. We got fill, feel, and flop. So fill, you're looking at ultra fill. It's nice. You know, mostly disc, a little bit of mix it feels like maybe, but you know, and disc, little bead, maybe. I, kind of a mixed mill, but it's nice. It's still a pretty flat bag. Uh, it's not super puffy or anything like that, which I thought it would be given these materials, but then it's not. So it's interesting because it's still active, but it's not too active. I'll get into it. Um, overall feels good, guys. It's ultra. Corner seams and edges are awesome. Closing stitch is stupid good. Um, it's just good. You know, sublimation is awesome. Ultra knows exactly what they're doing. Uh, overall flop, they get kind of floppy, you no, know, and they get even floppier uh, as you throw them. So they're going to get way floppier than this, but I kind of like where they're at right now. Oh, my knee. Too old for this crap. Um, yeah, you agree? Thanks. Um, but yeah, not bad. So we'll get into uh, playability. I mean, it's carpet, guys. And I, I know I review a lot of carpet now, and that's because I love carpet and because a lot of people love carpet. But it's just it's what carpet does, right? Flops, cuts, rolls, blocks, pushes, air mails, um, slide around and drop fast. I don't know. I'm not really going to pull up on these bags. Um, but they pretty much do what you want them to. They're fairly active, but also fairly forgiving. So let's throw them a little bit, check them out, see what we can do. Uh, wind is kicking up a little. I see a nice dark cloud over there, but hopefully the wind just blows that nice dark cloud past and uh, we can just throw. Enjoy ourselves a nice little Saturday morning. It's only 10 a.m. right now, so why not? But starting slow side here. Yep, I'm going to blame the wind on that one. I don't know if it's entirely the truth but i'm blaming the wind um so right there is exactly what's what's interesting about these bags i mean i'm throwing them you know i'm giving it a little bit of juice I'm not throwing them super high not throwing them super low but uh now that one i tried to <laughs> that one i tried to oomph need a little sip of coffee here forgive me no my coffee's still pretty hot babe but they're they're slow um, these might be a really good outdoor bag, like at, uh, Spencer's, you know, where you got to throw super hard, you got to control them. Um, but aside from that, I see, I kind of think they're more of an indoor bag, uh, personally, where the, 
the humidity is controlled, the temperature is controlled, and you'll be able to control the speed of them. Because I think once you're outside and the conditions are changing and stuff, the carpet is just, it's just a little slower than I expected, honestly. Even though I know it's pro advantage. Ah, bad throw. It's just a little slower than I initially expected. And uh, one of my buddies broke his in, but he did like a couple wrinkle guard soaks. He did toss offs, did a couple other things. Um, and another guy, uh, Ryan Wiertzma, if you guys are familiar with him, up and comer in uh, ACL. He's very, very solid. Um, he loves these bags. And it's, I, I forgot to ask him how he broke his in, but his felt great. Uh, but he throws them all the time. So and that's just a big part of it. Um, you know, you just got to get, you got to get this carpet broken down. That's, that's the big thing. Um, oh, wow. Well, is getting this carpet broken down because it's, it's a nice carpet. Four piece. Hello. It's a nice carpet, but you have to have to have to throw it a lot. It's not one of those, like a lot of these bags these days, you know, um, kind of like Viper R style bags, right? Viper R's, uh, a lot of the B3 bags. Um, there's just a ton of bags that feel really, really good out of the bag. Okay. It's not a kangaroo, babe. It's a bunny. Uh, there's a lot of bags these days that feel really, really good directly from the manufacturer. Um, this isn't really one of them. <laughs> okay, scoot. Yeah, they're nice. This isn't really one of them. Um, you got to throw this bag. You got to break it in. You got to get it moving. But, I mean, that's I'm not upset with that at all. Pushing right through a B-block like that. No worries there. I'm missing the next one because why not? But the, these just take... Ah, uh, sure. These take a little bit of work. Um, you know, we are in the days of instant gratification, right? If you need something, you look it up on the internet. If you have to prove something, you look it up on the internet. You want something quick, you know? You want food, you don't want to go get it, get it. Get some DoorDash, you know, get Uber Eats, get whatever. Um, we're in the day and age of, I want something quickly and I'm going to get it quickly. These aren't going to, these aren't going to lend to that. Um, let's do a little mix throw in here. These are not going to lend to that. If you want them to play nicely, if you want to get them nice and broken in, you're going to have to throw them. It's just the way it is. Ooh, almost nice little get around. And that's just, and that's how it is. I mean, it's, it's a carpet bag. Um, and it's a it's a true carpet bag. Let's put it that way. Uh, Viper R, you know that's that's hybrid carpet. Um, like wizards and stuff like that. I don't really call them a hybrid carpet because that that herringbone. I don't necessarily call that hybrid. A lot of people do, but um, you know it's the it's the Viper R and the Viper R variant that's more hybrid in my opinion. Um, those break in super quick. They're basically ready to throw. Uh, regular carpets. If you're a carpet thrower, you know. They take a while. It's just the nature of the beast. Got a little cut here. And hopped over the wrong side. I was trying to cut and coin slot that, but got the wind coming. I got that dark cloud over there. I better stay there. Try to give it too much. Just go in with it. Or not get into mess. Eh, whatever. You know. The wind. I just I feel the wind coming. You see that tree flying. I'm not playing around when I say it's, you know, it's windy, it's whatever, and I'm not messing with you. There's the raindrops. Let's do a final down and back here. Where are we at? Yeah, Kai's excited. But, I mean, I, I don't hate the way these play. Um, if somebody wanted to play them in a blind draw or something, I would absolutely play with them. Um, you just gotta, gotta know how to throw them, gotta know what they're gonna do. Uh, when I was watching, thank off that, darn it. I was watching uh, Ryan Weirtsma play with them, and I mean it was it was incredible. The dude is a magician with these things. He's just he's laying blocks. He's doing little baby cuts to get around them. He's doing straight up flops. I mean he he knows these bags, and and these were the ones that were marketed with uh, Slinky Tech, right? And honestly, the carpet around the hole is it is fairly friendly. For as slow as it is, it's actually a really really friendly carpet. There's the raindrops. So, I'm gonna wrap this one up a little quicker than I anticipated. Just cause that rain. Oh boy, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> I know, Kai, I feel it. You gotta move, please. I was gonna say, just get me one flop. Nope, oh, there's the rain. Ah, oh, crap. I'm throwing it going, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That is the uh, Ultra Psycho R. I'm trying to get it so my phone does not get absolutely poured on. But that is the short and sweet, guys, on the Ultra Psycho R. Um, pretty decent bag, basically Pro X speeds with ultra size, template, fill, all that stuff. Also ultra price, so got to factor that in. But um, anyway, if you guys like this one, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.